Who, what, 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 who, who? Heart. Heart. You're absolutely right. Let's hear it for the lady. Knows our tri her trivia. Before we bring out uh, the, the, the man who played the lovable doorman, I want to get back to some of the little ditch that was going on up there. Give it to me. What was going on? You were talking about this one. <laughs> breaks up all the time. And he looks at me because he knows I'm the weak one. And he makes it over by me and does this so that I'll, when he laughs, I'll laugh too. And then he tells the director, she. You said her. you guys sound like kids in the back of a class. That's right. Absolutely. She's impossible to work with. <laughs> well, they all are in a way. I mean, Isabel, never my queen. You're never impossible. <laughs> oh. Just incredible. To work. Now, Isabel, how did you get that? I've my been queen. called the queen for years. <laughs> It's because no it was in our contract. <laughs> we had to sign a statement. We had to bow. We had to bow. Yeah. It was in the contract. Oh, God. We would do anything for a dollar. <laughs> well, speaking of do, someone who would do anything for a dollar, he couldn't do a Jefferson's, we couldn't do a Jefferson's reunion without the man who spent as much time holding out his hand for tips as he did opening the door. Please welcome Ned Wertimer, who played Ralph. <laughs> You're the best. You're the best. Oh, thank you. Have a seat. Make yourself at home. You sure were asking for those tips on yep. that show. Even out there in front of the building today, you were asking, hitting me up for some yep. tips. Yeah, but I, I gave the $20 back to your producer. And they said you kept I it. kept it. <laughs> I'm still upset that I gave it back to him. Well, here, I... Oh, well, no, I better not. Oh, gosh. Ned, what is... What, you know, we were just talking a little earlier about how the Jeffersons really portrayed an interracial couple for the first time and, and just what the reaction was to all of that. And you, in real life actually married a Nigerian woman is that right very much so very much so <laughs> very much in love with her really you courted her for seven years only what seven a years when I met her I said this is it and seven years later she said the same thing <laughs> You had a knife at her throat? Or what happened? <laughs> no. The lady came over here and uh, got her MA and uh, PhD at Howard University in uh, history. And uh, we luckily met one another and uh, we've been together for 25 years. Wow. 25 that is wonderful. Years. Absolutely wonderful. For 25. I understand. When you were in college, you were a business major. This seems a long way from what you majored in way back in college. Yes, I went through the Wharton School of Business, and the one thing it taught me is that I didn't want to go into business. <laughs> <laughs> I was good as an actor. That's what I had confidence in. So I went into acting. Wow. Well, that's quite a business in itself. Well, it's a profession. You can make a business out of it. I'm on the board of directors of our F Actors Federal Credit Union, and I, I know something about that. Everybody join your credit union. What was the next question? <laughs> <laughs> question is, how come I can't get a loan? Yeah. Well, oh. uh, uh -oh. you can get a loan, but I'm not the one to get it because I know you too well. Uh, <laughs> that's the problem. Okay. <laughs> what are some of your favorite memoirs as you look back over those special years, the thing that you remember most, your most special memoir? Isabel? <laughs> you would be. <laughs> <laughs> you just had that queenly approach to, to, to the topic. Uh, it's Sammy Davis. <laughs> oh, what was it? Sammy Davis story. Oh, she played oh, Betty oh, Davis? Oh, Sammy Davis <laughs> story. Sammy Davis, you can't be. I enjoyed working with Sammy, but nothing happened really big to repeat. No more than the whole show was a gas working with him and uh, I was supposed to push him around and shove him and he was just about like that. <laughs> Do y'all, where are we going? Well, and he said, look, look, baby, if you're going to push, push. If you're going to pull, pull. I mean, don't, you know, don't cheat him like a baby. I love hearing that. And so when I had to shove him in the closet, I shoved him in the closet, <laughs> closed the door, dragged him out, and he seemed to love it. <laughs> And that was just 
sugar to me. Yeah, I'll, I'll never forget it. the day when, when Sammy Davis Jr. kissed Archie Bunker. Oh, Do you yeah, remember that, that scene? Oh, I thought we were going to fall off the, the <laughs> living room chairs in my house. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what, I, Isabel, your first role, 1968. Do you remember what movie she did first? Guess Who's Coming to Dinner with Sidney Poitier and Spencer Tracy and Katherine Hepburn. Isabel played Tilly, the maid. I, you know, so I was looking at the film a, a few weeks ago and I said, I know her! Wait a minute, she's coming up on the show! But you'd be surprised how many people don't remember me. Yeah. In that movie. That's amazing. But I, well, that was a, it's a classic today. Yes, And indeed. I really enjoyed doing it. And working with Spencer, well, I knew Sydney. Sydney and I pounded the beat here in New York together, mm -hmm. same time, years ago. But uh, Spencer Tracy was so funny. He would well, be falling down laughing while he tell one of his stories, and he's not cracking a smile. He's just telling the story. <laughs> and we... <laughs> 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 and he would say, and he would admire Catherine Hepburn's legs, you know, saying she still has the legs. And she would say about his pictures that uh, I don't like his younger pictures because he looks like uh, an Irish cop. But the older pictures, he looked very aristocratic wow. and very sophisticated. And you hear them, these compliments from each other, and it was beautiful. Yeah, was that that romance going on at that time? I suppose, the respect for each other. Yeah. Although he would say, Catherine, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> and she would shut up. And then she would say to me sometime, I'm passing by, Isabel, she says, Spencer, I think you're marvelous. <laughs> Thank you. And so do we. We have plenty more surprises for you, but first, more Jefferson trivia questions. Do you know how many dry cleaning stores George Jefferson owned? Oh, the answer when we come back. We'll be right back in a minute. You know how many? How many? Great time here. It's the Jefferson's reunion show. And the trivia question before the break was, how many dry cleaners did George Jefferson own? Okay, how many? Who knows? How many you say? I say seven. How many you say? Seven. Seven? How many do you say? Seven. Seven. Oh, everybody say seven? I also say seven. Seven? Seven. Two. You say two. One. Somebody down there said 12 during the break. Well, let's take a look and see if this clip might give us Could some clue to how many cleaners George Jefferson owned. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I'm George Jefferson, uh, Jessica Jefferson's grandfather, but you don't want to hear about me. What you want to hear about is my seven dry clinic establishments. <laughs> throughout the city, one near you. Seven was the answer. Some questions for you guys here. This question's for Marla. I know you're on 227 also, and you seem like you love the cast. Did you love working with this cast much better than the cast of 227? Oh, me? Yes. Did you like working with this cast better than 227? I heard the question. <laughs> what you asked. Yes, I loved working with this cast because we came to work to play. Jefferson's cast was wonderful, too, but I had more responsibilities on that show. The queen here, I could just play all day because she was the star of the show. Well, did they write you in to have this, this kind of combative attitude with, with uh, George, or did that something that just kind of came about? That started evolving. Actually, the first show, he was the one that wanted to hire me. She didn't want me. <laughs> he wanted, I didn't. You didn't, because he expensive. wanted me because the Willis's had a maid. Mm -hmm. And you didn't want a maid. You didn't feel like you knew. Because I felt I could do it Don't you remember myself. this? <clears throat> Because she felt like she could do it herself. <laughs> it was a long series. <laughs> yeah, what do you say? Are any of you doing any acting right now? Oh, Am I doing some time. acting? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We Sherman. act all the time. Sherman, you're about to Not kick off pay. your own sitcom, Not for right? pay, but yes, acting all the time. Sherman has a wonderful Sherman. sitcom now. He yeah. has a sitcom going. Yeah. And the name Sherman? Good behavior. Good behavior. And is everybody from this cast hitting you up to be on the new cast? Yeah, well, I'm going to pick it. <laughs> I'm going to pick it. He hasn't asked us yet. Well, we just got started. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about billing. Right. What are some of you, what, what are some other projects you're working on right now? Uh, well, I just finished a movie with uh, uh, Chris Farley and Matthew Perry uh, called Edward and Hunt. It's a send-up of Lewis and Clark. Huh. 
these two goofballs like Monty Python. I mean, they go west. But I'm a rich man, and they're in love with my, one of them is in love with my daughter.